Hello, today's tutorial will show you how to quickly determine the correct state plane zone your project or area of interest is located in. Generally, if you're downloading shapefiles from a county uh, GIS site or being given data, the first thing I like to do is bring it in an arc, check it out, look at the attributes, verify that the coordinate system is in the projection that I want. So, for this example, I'm working in Folsom Lake, which is in California. It's actually spread out into three counties. Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. Um, I was given this data, so I'm actually just going to see which projection this is in. So I click on uh, Properties, go to Source, and you can see that it's in NAD83 UTM Zone 10. Well, unfortunately, I'd like to be working in State Plane. So, to quickly identify which State Plane zone this project or this area is in, um, ESRI has actually made this pretty simple. Um, what you can do is you can either navigate through getting data, but I'm going to go through Windows Explorer here. What you want to do is go into your C drive, go under Program Files, scroll down until you see ArcGIS, Desktop 10, scroll down until you see Reference Systems, and then you can see there's a whole list of shape files in here they just are reference for where you're at. There's USGS quads and here's the one on UTM and US State Plane 83. Now since this is a shapefile I can just click and drag this file in and now I can see, wow, okay, here we go. Let's change this color so we can see a little bit better. Alright, I can click and see, okay, I'm in California zone 2, 402. All right, so turn this off. Now I know that I want. I'm going to go over here into my search. I can just project the data. I can drag this in. Click on my output coordinates. Change this to state plane nat 83 zone 2. Click OK. Uh, I need to set my output. And actually, I'm going to set this right here and call it OK. Click that. All right, there's our new shape file. We can quickly see it's in NAT83 State Plain, California, Zone 2. Thanks for watching.